Hey, Shad here with Speed Addicts, the fastest growing gear site on the web, and today we're gonna uncrate the Biltwell Gringo. Before we jump in and break down one of our top selling vintage helmets at speedx.com, make sure to hit subscribe. That allows us to keep bringing you the best gear content on the web. So, Biltwell, if you haven't heard of them, they specialize in vintage gear but modern craftsmanship. Uh, I've tried on some vintage helmets where you put them on, they do feel like they're from the 60s, and that's no good. You want modern tech, you want modern safety, but that cool vintage look, the Gringo brings that to you. They also have the Gringo S, so the Gringo S is the same helmet with the face shield, so if you're usually riding higher speeds, you want a face shield, you don't want to run sunnies, goggles, or a snap-on like this one allows you to, pay an extra $20 and get the Gringo S. The Gringo here in front of me is around 174 to 199 at the time we're shooting this video. Disclaimer, prices are going up lately, so this is 2022. If you watch this at a later date, don't get mad at me if the price has creeped up because that's a thing that's been happening. Okay, uh, polycarbonate shell, three pounds, three, about 3.4 pounds, so not the lightest, but not bad. Definitely a little bit lighter than the Gringo S with the face shield, you're saving some weight here. The helmet is not only DOT, but it's also ECE. If you're not familiar, EC2205 is the European standard. So we like helmets that are dual, um, dual rated like that, typically just because the standards are a little bit different. And so if they meet both standards, that means more safety, right? Uh, the sizes run extra small to two extra large. So if you got a huge noggin, you're out of luck on the gringo here. Fit is true to size. Go buy that Biltwell sizing chart at speedax.com. And remember, if you haven't shot for, shot for gear online before, don't worry. We make it super easy here at Speed Addicts. Free exchanges in return. So not only are we gonna pay the shipping to get this helmet to you, but if it doesn't work out for any reason, we'll pay to get it back. So head over to speedax.com when you're buying your next helmet. Let's jump in and break down this gringo for you. So first up, Biltwell knows about style. They really come out with new interesting colors all the time. This is a metallic copper. They got seafoam metallic. They've got vintage white, which is like a flat. They've got matte colors. So really cool vintage looking color here. I like the chrome trim. Uh, this thing just looks really good, not only on the outside, but also on the inside, which we'll show you here in a minute. But first thing you'll notice, no ventilation. Uh, there are other vintage helmets out there I've seen with a little bit of vents. Biltwell just went straight vintage. We're not putting vents on the helmet. If you want more airflow, you know, you're going to get it here, especially on the Gringo without the face shield. You're going to run sunglasses, goggles, or maybe even a snap visor. You're going to get airflow through the front of this helmet. Um, so that's how they're working the ventilation and just classic spherical design here. All right, let's flip this guy over and see what we're working with on the inside of the helmet. First up, D-ring closure, nothing surprising there. That's what you would expect on a vintage helmet especially. Um, the way they deal with the, uh, the end of your, your chin bar strap is kind of interesting. They have this sliding receiver. You can put it wherever it falls and is appropriate for you. And then that tail end of that strap snaps in there so it's not blowing around the breeze. It's kind of cool. Uh, chin bar pad. The main thing I'll call out about the Gringo is it's really, the finish inside is really nice. They pay attention to lots of details. Number one, the chin bar pad is this molded urethane uh, chin bar, and it's um, it's some sort of uh, polymer material that absorbs energy and impact, which is really good considering the majority of crashes end with a face plant in some way, shape, or form. So it's likely if you're in an accident, you're gonna come in contact with that. So. Some other vintage helmets I've seen really lacking in that area. It's nice, they're gonna save your mug with this. It's also got this cool kind of crosshatch diamond pattern that matches the interior of the helmet. So it just makes it look spiffy. Uh, the removable washable liner is a fleece Lycra. What does that mean? I, it almost feels like kind of a micro suede fleece. Um, it's really soft and it's got this perforation on it that looks cool, but just a really nice place to be. One of the other creature comforts you don't typically get with these sort of vintage helmets are speaker pockets. So if you want to run a comm system, Billwell's got you covered in the gringo. This part that goes over your ear here of the cheek, cheek pad is also a mesh. So the speaker pocket, you're gonna be able to put your speaker in there and that mesh will actually let the sound come through clearly, which is a nice thing. You also notice just the inside of this helmet, it's, all, it's totally finished, nothing weird or exposed. 
let's pull out this headliner. So if you're gonna wash your headliner, which I recommend so you don't get funky every once in a while, go ahead and hand wash that in the sink. Let it air dry. Washing machines can chew these up and then you gotta buy a new one, that's no fun. So you'll notice this kind of looks like uh, like an old racing suit or something, this, this quilting. It's cool, it's also that fleece lycra material so it's nice and soft and looks good. One other thing you're gonna like about the Gringo is that it has a low profile EPS liner that is made from three pieces. It is also channeled, you'll see that. That allows some of the air that's kicking around the helmet to get on your head, but it also absorbs energy like a crumple zone in an impact. So, like I was telling you, modern technology in the vintage helmet, we don't want uh, dated safety tech, right? So that is the interior and so when you're wearing this thing, you don't look like Jack in the Box. That low profile liner is an important part of that. And that's the biggest downfall of a lot of vintage and especially half shell helmets is they have really bulky EPSs. Point of the vintage helmets look cool, right guys? So, Biltwell is backing this up, full two year warranty. So they've got your back, which is also a nice thing. Head over to spx.com to pick up your gringo today and remember, don't forget to subscribe and stay up to date on all the latest gear videos at speedags.com. We'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.